Now, our special guest is Gare Gudmundson. He's a director of football operations at Test Football Academy. Also, alumni from Albany when they were in the NEC back in 2005. Three-time All-NEC performer. And Gare, let's start with Albany first. Obviously, the NEC was different then than what it is now. Could you have imagined even now having an event like this in MetLife Stadium? No, not at all. And it's it's actually really nice to see all these coaches, players, ex-players come together uh, for an event and to see how, how much it's grown is is great. It's great for the conferences, great for the schools, great for the student athletes, and, and great all around. It's, it's just it's a good, good opportunity for all. Now you had a chance to work with the legendary Bob Ford at Albany. What was that like? What was it like? It was an unbelievable experience. Uh, I don't think you will see ever someone start a club program and build it into a Division I powerhouse like he did. Obviously, he is a legend. I would love to see his coaching tree and see where, you know, all those coaches lay out because it would probably be, you know, unbelievable. Um, but it was it was an exciting and unbelievable opportunity for me uh, to play under such a an, an unbelievable uh, leader, motivator, um, and somebody who can just command uh, a field and be be someone that you can look up to, be a father figure, uh, be a friend, um, and, and just be an overall guy that you want to be and run through a wall with. Now at the Test Football Academy, it's your job to get college players ready to take that next step to the next level. This year, the NEC had nine of their student athletes in NFL rookie camps, and they have five players currently under contract with NFL teams heading into training camp. In your opinion, what's the key for kids coming out of FCS, coming out of smaller schools, to prepare themselves to make that jump? Well, one, it's a tribute to the NEC and, and, the, and the level of play and how it's, it's come up over the years, but uh, my recommendation is knowing that the film is your resume. You have to understand that, um, you know, making it to the next level is is hard. And nowadays, uh, scouts are going to find you. So you have to understand that your level of play just needs to always be up. They, they they're always looking for that diamond in the rough. They're always looking for that for that next uh, that next draft pick that's going to be you know the guy that gets on the field who's you know who's who's the unknown. So uh, that's that's my kind of word of advice is make sure that you understand that your film is your resume and what you put on there people are going to see. Why do you think there's so much more parity now? It's not just in college football, it's college basketball too. Like you said, if you're out there, the scouts are going to find you. You don't have to go to a big program to make it. Why do you think that net is now cast much wider than maybe it was in previous years? Well, I mean, you, you see it every Sunday is, well, who is this guy? Where's he from? And that's, that's the thing. The, 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 the scouting departments, they're, they're not scrambling, but they, they want to see and find, again, that lower draft pick where they don't have to pay necessarily that much money and find them and keep them for those four years and then and then you know pay them the amount when they when, when that four years four years is up now uh, now finally obviously you stayed in football a lot of these kids though they're going to go into other professions other jobs what does playing college football in the NEC and how is that going to help prepare them for whatever they decide to do in their adult lives well it's going to give it's going to give them discipline. It's going to give them, um, you know, the tools to be successful in in their profession. And I really believe that, you know, he's whoever comes out of this this conference is going to be successful uh, no matter what. It gives them the tools and gives them everything they're going to need to be successful. That's all. Gare, great stuff. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Gare Gudmundson, let's throw it back inside to Paul and Kevin.